सो हे गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू एच एस अकेडमी एडवांसिंग एच एस प्रोफेशन थ्रू अवेयरनेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू एच एस अकेडमी सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अबाउट निबॉश इंटरनेशनल टेक्निकल सर्टिफिकेट इन ऑयल एंड गैस ऑपरेशन सेफ्टी ओके अंडर अवर कोर्स रिव्यू सीरीज एज यू नो दैट बिफोर प्रीवियसली वी हैव डन लॉट्स ऑफ रिव्यू ऑन वेरियस इंटरनेशनल एज वेल एज नेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन सो इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू अवर निबॉश आई ओ जी ओके विच इज ऑल्सो इंटरनेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ऑल दीज टेन फैक्टर्स ड्यूरिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर रिव्यू सो इफ यू आर विजिटिंग टू अवर चैनल फर्स्ट टाइम सो काइंडली कंसिडर द सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस चैनल विच इज एब्सोलूटली फ्री फॉर ऑल सो लेट्स गेट सेट टू द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट समथिंग अबाउट निबॉश आई ओ जी बेसिकली वॉट इट इज सो देखिए सो सी गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल निबॉश आई ओ जी नेशनल एग्जामिनेशन बोर्ड इन ऑक्यूपेशनल सेफ्टी एंड हेल्थ ओके इन विच दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग इंटरनेशनल टेक्निकल सर्टिफिकेट इन ऑयल एंड गैस ऑपरेशन सेफ्टी दिस इज द फुल नेम ऑफ दिस क्वालिफिकेशन सो बेसिकली दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्रेस्टिजियस क्वालिफिकेशन विच इज ऑफर्ड बाई निबॉश एज यू नो दैट नाउ इट इज रिटन दैट आई टी सी इंटरनेशनल टेक्निकल सर्टिफिकेट इन ऑयल एंड गैस ऑपरेशन सेफ्टी इट मीन्स दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वालिफिकेशन मेनली इम्फेसिस ऑन ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री नाउ एज वी नो दैट ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री इज डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री मेन सेक्टर्स दैट इज अप स्ट्रीम मिडल स्ट्रीम एंड डाउन स्ट्रीम ओके सो बेसिकली दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वालिफिकेशन मेनली कवरिंग ऑन अप स्ट्रीम एज वेल एज डाउन स्ट्रीम ऑपरेशन विच इज गोइंग ऑन इन ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्रीज ओके नाउ वी हैव गॉट सम इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट नी बॉश आई ओके जनरली इन इंडिया ऑल्सो वेरी फ्यू पीपल आर देयर हु आर टेकिंग दिस क्वालिफिकेशन बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस एज वेल एज इट इज़ नॉट रिकोगनाइज इन इंडिया टू मच बेसिकली दिस क्वालिफिकेशन मेनली इम्फेज ऑन मिडल ईस्ट एज वेल एज यू के दोज रिफाइनरीज एंड ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्रीज दोज हु आर ऑपरेटिंग इन यू के नाउ वी वी गॉट सम अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट आई ओ जी नाउ वी विल गो टू द सेकेंड पॉइंट दैट इज योर टारगेटेड ऑडियंस दोज हु आर ऑल दोज गाइज दैट आर गोइंग टू परस्यू दैट पार्टिकुलर क्वालिफिकेशन सो इफ यू आर गाय दोज हु हैव अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑन health and safety managing in oil and gas industries then you should pursue that qualification okay it will help you a lot by enhancing your knowledge as well as it will also show your knowledge to the employer also if you are holding such qualifications it will clearly show that you have demonstrated your oil and gas knowledge in in, in front of a qualification okay so if you have any responsibilities with regarding to oil and gas safety then you should pursue that qualification or if you want to enhance your knowledge anyhow in oil and gas then also you can pursue that knowledge now third point is that qualification ranking and recognition so see it is a very important concept actually until and unless any qualification got its recognition and uh, uh, ranking it is totally waste you can say it's a waste and uh, it will not be recognized at international platform so it's a nibosh qualification and as we know that nibosh is internationally recognized so this particular qualification generally ranks for level 4 level 4 in uk and if, if you see that sqf Scottish Credit Qualification Framework, so it will rank around six to seven or seven to eight. In between of that, it will rank. Okay, as per SQF, it will be around six to seven, and as per UK, it will be rank around level four qualification. Very few people are there who know about NIBOSH levels, which are provided by the NIBOSH. Okay, so this particular qualification levels on level four qualification, as well as NIBOSH PSM also. Now. next point is that qualification eligibility and prerequisites now uh, what are the things you required if you want to pursue that qualification okay so see if you see the eligibility and prerequisites so there are no prerequisite as well as eligibility criteria which is provided by nibosh but yeah there is some recommendations which are given by nibosh that is if you want to that pursue that course so first of all you should you should have some basic understanding of health and safety concepts okay if it is not you should have nibosh nibosh i o i g c if you hold that then it means you, your concepts as well as uh, the terms which are related to health and safety will be more clear and you you will find it easy to clear that in first attempt itself now as well as uh, there were there is one more requisite is there that is your ielts in ielts basically they are telling that you should have a sufficient level of english understanding as well as writing also so you can understand what is given in the syllabus as well as you can write the answers which is asked in the questions generally they are asking you 6.0 minimum level of ielts score is 6.0 you should have okay now we will come to the main important part that is your syllabus and exam pattern what is the syllabus basically so see exam uh, basically when we talk about syllabus it is very good especially i have covered nibosh iug but officially i didn't give any exam but i have gone through the syllabus it's a too much technical as well as lovable syllabus now if we see the syllabus th there are basically five elements are there i'll tell you what are the, all the five elements majorly they have five elements this is your management of health and safety in oil and gas industries or you can say health and safety environmental management in oil and gas industries second point is your hydrocarbon process safety one it means 
you are going to learn about process safety which is related to oil and gas process operations next is hydrocarbon process safety too okay third is fire protection and emergency response fifth is your logistics because logistics is a very crucial part uh, it is also considered as middle stream also logistics okay so let me talk about something about these elements what are these actually okay but before we begin let me tell you something as i told you it is covering upstream as well as middle stream as well as downstream also okay so there will be offshore also onshore also in particular this qualification you will be having knowledge on offshore petroleum operations as well as offshore petroleum operations now management of international health and safety what you are going to study in that so basically they are going to teach about something management concepts like for example permit to work system okay management of change in process safety something about management which is required to manage the health and safety within an organization which is crucial topics now second when we uh, come out come about hydrocarbon process safety one and hydrocarbon process safety two so there are something technical parameters for example you will be learning about esd emergency shutdown system you will be learning about incinerator blow blow down facilities flare system okay uh, as well as boilers also furnaces also tanks family also okay so lots of things for lots of technical aspects will be included here in hydrocarbon process safety one and hydrocarbon process safety two fire and explosion and emergency response everything about fires what are the types of fire how to control them as well as about detectors as well as what are the emergency protocols if something wrong happen in offshore platforms or as well as onshore petroleum facilities so you, what you can do if something goes wrong in a refinery okay fine now let, next is logistics so here it is one of the crucial as well as very interesting part why means here you are, you are going to learn about pro, uh, pressure supply vessels generally the ships marine ships you are going to study about as well as rail based transportation as well as road based trans transportation a lot of things are there which are you going to study in that okay so this is the syllabus now come to the exam pattern basically as i told you only one unit is there in that nibosh iog that is your management of oil and gas safety now there is an exam in which uh, short answer short questions are there each short question will be of 8 marks and one long uh, long question will be there of 20 marks okay so this will be your exam pattern basically m minimum requirement is 45 marks if you achieve 45 marks th that will be fine now if we come to the post qualification opportunities means after this qualification what you can expect okay see there are two ways if you have done nibosh iug first option is that you can go for nibosh international journal certificate okay if you want to pass uh, if you want to get more advanced knowledge then you can directly approach to the nibosh idip okay nibosh international diploma in occupational health and safety or nibosh international diploma in environmental management you have two options okay this is the opportunities after nibosh international diploma i already explained you can go for masters and all now fees if we ask about the fees so in india if i take the example of india it will be around 50 uh, more than a 50 okay 50 plus it will be fees and range about 50 to 60 thousand rupees anywhere in between of that uh, so lots of uh, uh, good institutes are there those who are providing for example green world is there as well as nisc is also there they are providing these qualifications so if you are interested you can just visit to them and ask about for the details now benefits what are the benefits are there so see if you are totally if you have a plan to work in oil and gas industries if you want to serve your career in the oil and gas industries then it is going to help you a lot okay but as i previously told you and as well as i have done a comparison between nibosh iug as well as nibosh psm so this particular iog have some benefits also as well as demerits also if you want to work in process industry sector then you should consider nibosh psm psm will be better but if you have total emphasis on oil and gas operation safety you should go for that okay so benefits are also there demerits are also there so you need to first of all choose if you want to work in ph pharmaceutical industry pharmacovigilance, legions then you can go for psm okay want to work in chemical industry go for psm but want to work in offshore work to uh, work in LNG terminal as well as on-site on petroleum operations go for IOG so this is the basic difference basically now if we come to the conclusions what is the, my opinion with regard to that qualification so see for knowledge wise if you want to just get to want to get the knowledge just read that book it is easily available in various platforms or you can buy that okay just read that book you will love it book it's my guarantee because I have gone through the whole syllabus it's a superb especially if you see that elements first of all your HPS 1 hydrocarbon process safety 1 hydrocarbon process safety 2 fire and explosion as well as emergency response and logistics it is totally different from international journal certificate okay totally different and to totally technical that's why they have put their name international technical certificate in oil and gas operational safety operation safety in the sense when we are operating the plant when everything is moving throughout the plant when all the vessels all the pipelines those who are laying in the particular uh, facility these are charged so at the time what type of safety you can implement not in construction 
not in erection during operation okay so guys this is the full analysis of this topic if you like that video don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe to our channel for the notification of every single video that i upload so thanks for watching have a nice day